we are given a parallelogram on a grid, and we're told each small square on the grid has a side length of one centimeter. We are asked to determine the length of the base, the height, and the area of the parallelogram. Let's use this side as the base. Notice how the length of this side is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the units are centimeters. Let's label this side B for base equals six centimeters. The height is going to be the vertical distance from this side to the opposite side, and the height is always going to be perpendicular to the base, which means this length here is the height. Notice how the height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimeters. We will label this H for height equals seven centimeters. Recording the information below, the base is six centimeters and the height is seven centimeters. Next, we are asked to determine the area of the parallelogram, which in this case will be the number of square centimeters that will fit inside the parallelogram. The area formula for a parallelogram is area equals base times height, which means for this parallelogram, the area A is equal to six centimeters times seven centimeters, and because six times seven is equal to 42, the area is 42 square centimeters. Exactly 42 square centimeters will fit inside the parallelogram. Before we go though, I do wanna mention where this formula comes from. We can always take a parallelogram cut off a triangle from one side and form a rectangle, which is the reason why this area formula looks just like the area formula for a rectangle. We know when we have a rectangle, the area is equal to length times width, but if we have a parallelogram as we see here, if we cut this triangle off on the left and then slide it over here to the right, we would form a rectangle as we see here, where the length of the rectangle is the base and the width of the rectangle is really the height which is the reason why the area formula for our parallelogram is area equals base times height. The same formula as the area of a rectangle using different variables. I hope you found this helpful.